right, with the most highest permission, we will begin the scripture readings for this rising. So grateful, most high be praised. <clears throat> Starting with Psalms 24, Psalms 24. And right before that, if I could read what Ima Azuria posted, she said, trust is active and not just words. Hallel, yeah. May we show the most high how much we trust him by our actions. Hallel, yeah. Psalms 24, verses 1 through 10. The earth belongs to Yah and all that fills it, the world and those who dwell in it. For he has founded it upon the seas and upon the waters. He does establish it. Who does go up into the mountain of Yah and who does stand in his set apart place? He who has innocent hands and a clean heart, who did not bring his life to naught and did not swear deceivingly. He receives a blessing from Yah and righteousness from the power of his deliverance. This is the generation of those who seek who those who seek him. Yaakov, who seek your face, Salah. Lift up your hands, O you gates, and be lifted up, you everlasting doors, and let the sovereign of esteem come in. Who is this king of esteem? Yah, strong and mighty. Yah, mighty in battle. Lift up your heads, O you gates, even lift even lift up you everlasting doors and let the king of esteem come in. Who is this sovereign of esteem? Yah of hosts. He is the sovereign of esteem. Salah. Hallelujah. Psalms 55 and 17. Evening and morning and at noon will I pray and cry aloud and he shall hear my voice. I'm going to read that again. Psalms 55 and 17. Evening and morning or evening and rising and at noon will I pray and cry aloud and he shall hear my voice. Psalms 141 verses 1 through 3. A Psalm of Dawid. Yah, I cry unto you. Make haste unto me. Give ear unto my voice when I cry unto you. Let my cry be set forth before you as incense and the lifting up of my hands as the evening sacrifice. Set a watch, O Yah, before my mouth, and keep the door of my lips. Woo. Yahudith, or Judith, chapter 9, verses 1, 12, and 14. Yahudith fell upon her face, and, she, and put ashes upon her head, and uncovered the sackcloth wherewith she was clothed. And about the time that the incense of that evening was offered in Yerushalayim, in the house of the Most High Yah, Yehudith cried with a loud voice and said, I pray you, I pray you, O power of my father and power of the inheritance of Yashar'al, Most High of the heavens and earth, creator of the waters, king of every creature, hear you my prayer. Mm. The Most High Yah thundered from heaven. And the Most High uttered his voice. As for Yah, his way is perfect. The word of the Most High is tried. He is a buckler to all them that trust in him. For who is Yah except the Most High? And who is a rock except our power? The Most High power is my strength and power. And he makes my way perfect. Hallel, Yah. And Salat, that was Yehudith or Judith, chapter 9, verses 1, 12, 14, 31, 32, and 33. Psalms 7 and 17. I will praise the Most High Yah according to his righteousness and will sing praises to the name of the Most High Yah. Hallel, Yah. Ecclesiasticus or Sirach in the Apocrypha, chapter 14, verses 20. Blessed is the man that does meditate good things in wisdom and that reasons of holy things by his understanding. Hello, yeah. Proverbs 3, verses 25 through 26. Be not afraid of sudden fear, neither of the desolation of the sleek the desolation of the wicked when it comes. For Yahuwah shall be your confidence and shall be your foot from being taken. And I yield to Sis Kiwana. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The uh, 
I will continue the reading. And, uh, uh oh, we're all the way back to the At um, Ecclesiasticus chapter 6, verses 26 through 27, 35 and 37. Come unto her with your whole heart and keep her ways with all your power. Search and seek and she shall be made known unto you. And when you have a, and when you have got hold of her, let her not go. Be willing to be, be willing to hear every righteous discourse, and let not the parables of understanding escape you. Let your mind be upon the ordinances of the Most High Yah, and meditate continually in His commandments. He shall establish your heart and give you wisdom at your own desire. Hallelujah. Psalm 116, I'm sorry, 119, verse 6, 12, 15, and 48. Then shall I not be ashamed when I have respect unto your commandments. Then shall I not be ashamed when I have respect unto your commandments. Blessed are you, O Yahuwah. Teach me your statutes. I will meditate in your precepts and I and have respect unto your ways. My hands also will lift up your commandments, which I have loved, and I will meditate in your statutes. Hallelujah. Psalm 26, verses 2 through 3. Examine me, O Most High Yah, and prove me. Try my reins and my heart, for thy loving kindness is before my eyes, and I have walked in thy truth. Hallelujah. That concludes the reading of the scriptures for today. Salak says, I think we skipped one. Um, Ecclesiasticus chapter six. Uh, I just reposted it. We skipped uh, verses one through two, five through eight, 14, 16, 17, um, okay. and then the rest. So my apologies. I think that was before it, but um, um, I reposted it for you. Hallelujah. Okay, no problem. Thank you. <laughs> that was my fault because I, um, the way my screen was, I didn't see that above the um, other one. Hallelujah. Okay. We have one more scripture. Ecclesiasticus or Sirach chapter 6, verses 1 through 2, verses 5 through 8, 14, 16 through 17, 2, uh, Six to twenty seven, thirty five and thirty seven. Instead of a friend, become not an enemy. For thereby you shall inherit an ill name, shame, and reproach. Even so shall a sinner that has a double tongue. Let me read that again, I'm sorry. Instead of a friend, become not an enemy. For thereby you shall inherit an ill name, shame, and reproach. Even so shall a sinner that has a double tongue. Mm. Extol not yourself in the counsel of your own heart, that you that your soul be not torn in pieces as a bull straying alone. Sweet language will multiply friends, and fair speaking and a fair speaking tongue will increase kind greetings. 
be in peace with men. Nevertheless, have but one counselor of a thousand. If you would get a friend, prove him first, and be not hasty to credit him. For some man, for some man is a friend for his own occasion and will not abide in the day of your trouble. A faithful friend is a strong defense, and he that has found such a one has found a treasure. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. A, a faithful friend is the medicine of life, and they that fear the most high God shall find him. Thank you, God. Who fears the most high Yah? Who fears the most high Yah shall direct his friendship aright. For as he is, so shall his neighbor be also. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. I think that does officially include the reading for today. 